Hello, uh, welcome back to uh, my videos. Um, this is a painting I've had around for a long time, Monk Jack Deer sitting by waterfalls, but I haven't sold it and I think it's because it's too dark. So I decided to go back to the painting and lighten this area down here where the deer is, which you can't really see anyway. So uh, here it is, it's a very small box canvas. See the edges are all painted, ready for hanging straight on the wall, but never sold. So let's lighten this area up. So I've got my round bristle brush here and I'm just gonna start with some burnt, Sienna, yeah, that's it, burnt sienna. Um, right on top of this black here. I'm sorry about the lighting above again. It's quite washed out the lighting, but um, it's very hard to film painting, you know, because it's you sort of got, got the camera right in front of you, really. Um, so here I am, and then I'm adding the uh, cadmium yellow and white and lemon yellow as well. Um, this is where the light's going to be. I'm just painting it over the deer and the, making the bottom of the tree thicker and i um, going to have some other things in there instead. So you can see already straight away I've brightened up this whole picture just by putting this extra light source. Obviously got the light source behind, but it's kind of silhouettes most of the trees anyway. So but this bit of light here will brighten this corner and bring a lot more um, detail into the tree as well. So there's those three colours basically, um, three or four colours. Um, white lemon yellow going out to cabin yellow and then to a um, burnt sienna <clears throat> so i kind of keep it to all those colors um i'm adding a little bit more sap green and um olive uh, olive um yellow ochre into the background there just to lighten up the water down there where the light would be reflecting onto it and adding a bit more light to the actual waterfall um itself just here because it would you know this light does affect other things in the painting not just that tree but it would affect some of the things in the background there <clears throat> so this is how i do it i've got a small brush in just to bring a little bit more detail back in um gosh it's getting really cold in the shed now since i turned the heater off <laughs> for the sound uh, here i'm going back with the round bristle brush this is a uh, school brush you can get them from artdiscount.com get packs of 10 they're really worth buying because they're really good brushes and although it says school brush they're brilliant so uh, they're really good um brushes to buy and very cheap and have very good points on them as well so they're very they're very good brushes now i'm putting in an angel here an angel and someone being pulled out of the water basically that was the idea but this angel i'm painting here um was changed quite considerably in the final picture you'll see because i painted it quite a few times and i didn't always have the camera on because sometimes my phone runs out of battery and things so i don't always film but this shows you how i do it anyway i'm just using those colors again the, um, the yellows and the the white <clears throat> obviously brighter as it goes further down because that's where the light's coming from right in the center there so there's me painting oh, see i'm changing the arm already i'm changing lots of different things i kept going back and forward i wiped it off a few times and went back and did it again see i changed the arm here i just thought that was a bit stupid and <clears throat> i didn't like the fact that it, that the angel wasn't particularly using all its effort to help the person it was sort of hanging on to the tree and i thought that was a bit stupid so i changed that arm into a wing in the end anyway so i had both arms reaching forward <clears throat> i thought that was a bit more um realistic gosh i can't realize how dry my throat is i'm really sorry i should have brought a drink with me um you know, going back with the white again hitting the body shape but even after all this time and effort on this i changed it all again anyway so um but then i think i sort of i think on the next video i'll go back to painting the actual person in the bottom of the water here um see i put a hint of a wing in there but i wanted more than that really so i got rid of the arm and um did that i made a bit of a mistake there whoops <laughs> go back here's the person coming out of the water so so i want this person sort of reaching up with one arm and being rescued um that was the idea behind the painting anyway because we all get out of our depth sometimes eh? and we need a helping hand that's basically what this painting's about um so i'm putting the arm out here reaching up towards the angel and i realized there's quite a gap between the arms and it just wasn't looking right so i think in the end i sort of went back and changed and made made the angel bigger and <clears throat> a bit more reaching towards the the person i hope you enjoy watching these videos if, you know if there's anything any tips and help you, you can give me towards how to film things and that let me know um this painting will be for sale on my etsy store and my website of a pengeli.co.uk um see i'm putting the light on the person here in the front of the body and the face you can see where it's reflecting on them it's really important to do that it just shows that, that that person's actually there and the light's actually reflecting on them see the arms are too far apart it just didn't look right 
So I think I scrapped this in the end. I think I started the next day. <clears throat> I said to my wife the other day, <clears throat> she's like, you don't paint all the time. You just sit in your shed. And I'm thinking, a lot of the time I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. I mean, a lot of this is in the head because this is made up picture. Obviously, a lot of it, you know, it takes time. So anyway, this is the original painting. This is a, the cross dissolve with what I did in the end. Do you see how I've lightened, put so much more light in the painting, so much more light. I really like it now, really. Um, here's a close-up of the, the people for you, so you can see what I did. I did both arms reaching, you know. <clears throat> I thought that was a bit more uh, correct, uh, you know, the kind of stance I wanted, as opposed to just one arm reaching. I've got the angel with two arms reaching, so... Um, the box canvas is now complete and ready for hanging on someone's wall. So if you want to buy this, go to my website or my Etsy store. It's all the same, Oliver Payne Gilly. If you use <clears throat> that name, um, you can find it all. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be doing another video soon.